What's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient channel. Today is June 11, 2018, my outing number 76 of this year. And on a scale of 0 to 10, when it comes to excitement, I am probably at an 11 right now. <laughs> now, I don't know when you guys are going to watch this video on the platform, but today is the 11th, it is a Monday, and I am filled with energy, which is why I decided to explore a new location today. Now, this is the story. <laughs> this is the story, right? Uh, I have a friend, his name is Mike Caruso. I mean, if you guys watch the videos here on the YouTube platform, you know who Mike Caruso is. I did a trip with him back in the days to Jacksonville, North Carolina, where I caught my first ever bowfin, Amia Calva. I also did a trip with him to the Myrtle areas of South Carolina, where we hit multiple different piers and I caught, I landed many different saltwater species of fish and etc. Mike Caruso is a good friend of mine. And summarizing, I would like to give him a big shout out because a few days ago he sent me a photo and I was very, very puzzled once I saw that photo. He's the one who pointed out this spot to me, right? But the thing is, this spot where we are at today, which is a creek that turns into a lake, a little pond, and then it turns into a creek again, this place is not really stocked with trout. So when Mike Caruso sent me that photo, I was a little bit perplexed because I thought, man, where did this brown trout, the Salmotruta, come from? Now, down this creek, okay, there, uh, there's a huge lake that is indeed stocked with trout by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. But there, there's another puzzle, right, of this whole story. They don't really stock it with brown trout. So I thought it would be a wonderful idea to come here today and just do a full species assessment of this place. It's going to be a blast. Let me get my ultralight ready. Let's get the fishing started and we shall see what species of fish are around this area. I gotta get my ultralight set up, ready over here, the Cast King Calamus. with the Shimano Sedona 500 FD. As you guys can see, look, man, it's a beautiful little pond that comes from a creek, and there's the spillway, it turns into a creek. So this is like one area that hopefully will contain multiple different species of fish. And this is the cool part. I was just organizing my gear and getting ready for today. Look what I found, man. That's right, we found a Senko. So, there are indications that people fish here, and if there is a Senko, right, chances are there are going to be at least some largemouth bass around this area. <laughs> so let me get all things set up and let's get the fishing started. Holy cow, that's a carp. A carp is trying to swim up the dam. Holy mackerel, that, that's a carp right there. Dude, are you kidding me? Yo, man, there's a carp right there. Look, look at that, trying to swim up the dam. Well, he ain't, gonna, <laughs> he ain't gonna achieve that. He's going back right there, look at that. Oh boy, I'm sorry, carp. Fish on, first fish of the day is coming up right here at the spillway on the aero tackle. What we got? Oh, son, what? First species of the day is a green sunfish. H. the Anisoptera Dilepomis cyanellus. Now, as you guys can see, the water is pretty muddy today due to the rain yesterday. So I'm not going to be using the photo tank. Let's just take a shot of this guy. Dude, this guy suffer from the hair run too, look at that. Gotta take a shot of this guy and then release it. Not bad, not bad. You know, that's a good, that's a good start. I would like to emphasize that this pond right here and the creek are all one watershed. So it doesn't really matter if I release this fish over here 
or over here this one whole watershed right here has only one name all right so it's not like i'm releasing invasive species from over here to over here oh one tiny tap is that a crappie i'm currently scouting for crappie i just put a float on i was casting right next to that structure Nah, it's not a crappie, it is just a bluegill. <laughs> it counts for another species for today, but not quite the crappie that I was looking for. You see folks, in this place, there's only those three pieces of structure right there, in this whole place, right? So if there are crappie around here, you would expect the crappie to be just around that area. I gotta try a little bit more and then I'm gonna switch. <laughs> oh man. That turtle is a savage too. I've been casting all around the area, man. That turtle's got no chill. It doesn't care. It's just there chilling on top of the wood like he's the king of the hill. He's not, he's not afraid of no red float. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I man, I think that turtle is too savage. Has been among humans for too long. Let's see. Dude, savage, man. That turtle does not care. Wow, okay. Savage turtle. That's like a major fail, man. Oh, oh that, is that a crappie? Is that a crappie? what oh no if it jumped it is not a crappie man if <laughs> if it jumped it's not a crappie let's see what it is though yeah it's not a crappie i think it was a little bass man it was a little bass right next to the structure but <laughs> that was definitely not a crappie ay 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 <laughs> one there's one yeah on the sinkle that we found boy <laughs> the sinkle has served its purpose it's got to be third species of the day it's a very small one though but it is a large mouth and it is the first time by the way that you guys ever gonna see me extreme full of fishing fishing for large mouth using a circle hook all right and i'm only using a circle hook because i really really forgot it's not forgot i didn't even bring my Senko set up. That's why I'm using a circle hook here. Look at that. A mustache. <laughs> the oddest setup you ever gonna see in your life. I decided to tie on that Senko that we found and the Senko produced. It's my first time fishing over here as a matter of fact and this largemouth bass is pretty fat. I mean whatever it's been eating here it has been eating pretty good. Man, again, <laughs> I'm trying to catch a green sunfish, son, and then all these little large, large mouth bass, man, they love the anisoptera, they start showing up. There we go, look at that fat one. It's a green sunfish in spawning colors, but let me tell you, man, this is a fat guy or girl, I don't know. But look how beautiful this fish is. It's got the white and the orange and the black here. Man, this is a nice green sunfish. All right, let's release it back where it came from. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck, dude? Yo, that's a nice fish. What in the world is that? That's a carp, isn't it? Holy cow, dude. Yo, man, I dropped the anisoptera and got the hit and set the hook. Dude, this beast pulled drag, man. 
Now, the main question is, did I hook it in the mouth or did I full hook it? Ooh, it's pulling drag again. Dude, dude, that's a nice fish, man. Oh my goodness gracious. Who would have thought? Oh, it's in the mouth. I think it is in the mouth, man. Yo, this beast legit ate the Anisoptera. Oh man, I saw a big shadow down there. I thought it was a bass at the beginning, you know? Saw a big shadow down there. I was like, man, there's a nice bass down here. Let's try to catch it. Didn't know it was going to turn out to be a carp. Four pound test, ultralight, you know, gotta take it easy with this beast here. Yo, man. I'm finally gaining ground on this guy. It's four pound test on the ultralight. So definitely gotta take it easy. It's a common carp, it's a common carp. And the jig is hooked, I believe, in its mouth, in its mouth. So this guy, actually, he was just waiting there and I guess feeding right here where the water's coming in and he legit took that Anisoptera. That's, this is the surprise catch of the day, man. This is definitely the surprise catch of the day. Holy cow. I just set up the second camera. Took a little while for me to set up the second camera while having this fish on. It's never too easy to film by myself. But I think it is about time to land this, be this beast. I've been fighting this beast for a little while, you know. I don't know how big it is. Maybe seven, eight pounds on the four pound test, you know, an ultralight. It feels great. It is pretty tired. So let's land it. All right, it's time to land this fish. Let's, let's try. I think this fish is wasted enough that I can pull by the line. Hopefully. Now, come on, you got no energy left, right? Please tell me you got no energy left. I hate when they do that last run, they see you, the human being, and they're just like, no, not me. Chunky one, man. Ah, yes! Woo! Forget about the fishing rod, dude. The Calamus can handle it. But this is what I'm talking about. On the ultralight, baby. Look at this. Oh, this is a chunky one, too. Let's take a photo and release this dude. All right, I got this carp a little bit dirty, okay? But this is definitely a surprise catch for today so here's the final view of our carp i'm not gonna measure it i think it is in the range of seven to eight pounds maybe a little bit more you see all the milk coming out here right it is a spawning carp so you know what i'm just gonna put it back here we're gonna release this guy slowly slowly make sure we revive him nicely all right so he can go down there and impregnate many many carp in the future yeah so take your time buddy take your time you know take your time this is a valuable male sample right here man they provided such a nice fight you ready you ready oh yes ready to go ready to go beautiful Whew. the action has been so slow at this place today you guys won't believe it. I was a three species of fish and finally we landed this eight pounder. I am actually quite happy about it. I don't know about the trout that Mike showed me the other day, but you know, this carp makes up for it for sure. Without a doubt, today is one of those days when one fish makes our entire day <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I first got here, I thought I was going to slay the trout, right? My friend told me, man, I caught some trout right here at the spillway area. And I came here, I spent hours on the, in this little spillway. I only caught green sunfish, Dilepomis cyanellus, no trout. 
So <laughs> I'm not blaming my friend, by the way, right? My Caruso owned this. What happened is we had heavy periods of rain just yesterday and this place is over flooded. That's why the water is so murky. My assumption is that whatever holdover trout or little trout that was left here at this spillway is gone, right? With the rain and the rise of the, of the creek and the heavy current, the trout probably got out of this spot and they just swam downstream on the creek. Well, nevertheless, we are fishing today, finishing today. I'm sorry, I'm super tired. You guys have no idea. I am finishing today with four different species of fish. So what did we catch? We caught the bluegill, the Lepomis macrocurus, we got the green sunfish, the Lepomis cyanellus. Oh man, I caught so many largemouth bass from this place, but they were all the size. The biggest one was the one that you guys saw in this video on the Senko and the circle hook, right? That is the Micropterus salmoides. And finally, there's a lot of carp in this place, folks. Today is my first time down here, so I came to check it out, do the species assessment, but I bet there's a lot of catfish and a lot of carp. Reminds me of Luke, in a certain sense, here in this place. So next time, I'm bringing my rods and I'm bringing some corn and we gotta slay those carp. The one that I landed today, which was in the range of seven to eight pounds, I believe. It was short, but it was chunky, right? As I like to say, short and fat ain't always bad, you know? <laughs> that was a nice, decent fish. I'm very satisfied with it. That was the Ciprinus carpio. So this is it for today. I spent about six and a half hours fishing this place, all the way from morning till the afternoon. No trout, but at least we caught some fish, right? And I got to learn about a new location close to my house to fish here in Bucks County. So thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Tight lines and take it easy. Fail, fail. Dude, just give up, my man. Yeah, exactly, just go back. Just go back, you won't be able to do it. Not, not with this dam here that human beings have built, you know? I'm sorry, I know you got the urge to spawn. You probably fell from up here, but you won't be able to do it. I'm sorry to tell you. I gotta get maybe three or four Ziploc bags half full of this wonderful gravel right here. Look at that. Ooh, I'm gonna filter through the rocks, you know, and try to get some thinner and some thicker for the 10 gallon tank. And this is pretty much it.